about the truth and now we rejoice in the things that God is doing right now but what we want is the complete abolition of abortion the complete abolition and so God is the one who says in scripture that he hates child sacrifice this is child sacrifice Hebrew tradition. Now, what did Jesus say about Hebrew tradition? Did you, did you, did you read it? In Matthew 15, he says that your traditions nullify the commandments of God. You are a You are a You are You are a Yeah, so someone asked, what did Jesus say about murdering women? It's wrong. Now, another question. Do you have another question? Now, what happens? Can I ask? Can I ask y'all a question? What if I knew that the baby was about to be a homosexual in the womb? Would it be okay to abort the baby? No, I do love them. I love them all the time. I, I, yes, of course. I invite them to meals. I, I eat with them. I drink with them. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's not okay to abort a homosexual baby in the womb. It's not okay to abort any baby in the womb, period. It's not. And so can anyone tell me at what point 
is it okay to kill a baby while they're in the womb? You're wasting our time, our breath, our energy. At what point you. is it okay to kill a baby in the womb? One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? At what point? Someone At what please point tell me. Did you think it was okay to fucking come here? At what point is it okay to kill a baby in the womb? Did you know that in a few weeks that the heart of a baby starts beating while it's in the womb? Did you know that? Did you know that the brain starts functioning in less than a month? Please, you have to take away that fucking piece of shit. Did you know that? I'm here showing love, and people are here showing hatred. I'm here showing love, and people are here showing hatred. Now, I want you to be born again. Jesus says, flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. Jesus said, turn the other cheek. You yes, he said turn out the cheek, but how, how is killing a baby turning out the cheek? Can you please tell me? Hey, sir, 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 it's not your fucking decision. Sir, it's not your decision. It's God's decision. Now, I'm talking about the word of God. Where do you get your morals from? Where do you get your morals from? What? Christians are racist. Uh, we come from every nation, tribe, people, and tongue. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I just gotta give you a New York answer. What are you talking about? <laughs> and so, and so, I'm telling you, you have to repent and turn to God so that your sins are blotted out. That times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Want to say something? Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Bradley Abua, and I want to say something. What up? I want to say something really quick. Like. I want to talk about the mobile Sorry. technology bubble that we all seem to live in. What, I want to talk about abortion right now. I'm not here to talk about mobile technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I care about this. I want to see. Yeah, Does it have anything to do with what we're talking about? We're not talking about this now. It's kind of important or is it important? Abortion is more important. Child sacrifice is more important. Bradley! 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 But, but the reason why I'm here is to speak about child sacrifice, abortion, why it's wrong. It is child sacrifice. That's what scripture says. Exodus 21, verse 22 and 23 tells you that if you were to hit a pregnant woman while she's with child and her fruit departs from her, then it says that you would have to um, pay life for the life. That's what Moses said. Just like in the American courts. No, it says, it says, hold on, it says, Okay, Exodus 21 says that once if there's nothing that no harm happens, then you pay a fine. But if a fruit departs from her, you must pay life for life. I am louder than your microphone. I am louder than you. I want to say one little thing. Wow, can you tell me how to say this? It's a little unrelated. No, I'm just, I'm trying not I to drown you out. Than you. I'm I am so loud! So, and I'm not gonna let you speak your thing! Cause I am very loud! I am so loud! Oh God! Look how loud I am! I'm not giving you a platform! Okay, so... so now... Uh, now, God commands all men everywhere to repent. Because he's appointed a day in which to judge who? The world in righteousness. Now, this is my home. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are abomination to him. One, prideful eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a heart that devises wicked schemes, a false witness that pours out lies, and a person that stirs up conflict in a community. This is what you're doing. You're stirring up conflict in the community. What the fuck are you doing? Because you have God on your hands.
Does anybody here want to have a reasonable discussion? Does anybody here want to tell me at what point it's okay to kill a baby in the womb? At what point? Say that again for it's everybody. Not your it's not your day. No. What does fetus mean in Latin? It means fuck your religion and fuck your God. Fetus means young life. That's what it means. So even the, the ancient people who made that word up know that it's a young life in the womb. Even in Hebrew, in the Old Testament, they never had a word called pregnancy. It was called with child. The person is with child. You don't have to touch his stuff. I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. I can't get up. Well, we disagree, but you know, we have the freedom of speech to still agree to disagree. Can anyone show me? We know when you're telling them what you do with your body. Shut the fuck up and go home. God is the one that has command over all people. Who's the one that tells us whether it's wrong or right? Is that your thing? None of us go home. No, no, none of y'all bother your bodies.
So you're telling me to ask God and he will simply give? Yeah, because this right here is an answer prayer. Like Roe v. Wade being overturned is an answer prayer. So So, my scooter is just behind the gate. You guys are confessed tonight, officers. Do it without a mic! Do it without a 